Today we're gonna eat whatever we find, okay? Until we're f***ing full as sh I'm going to get diarrhea! Ah! <laughs> oh, wait a second. Wow. He's right. This means I'm ready to party. Whoa! Yeah! Yeah! Walk right through the camera. What's good, you sexy motherfuckers? Welcome back to Win Foodie. One more time. What's good, you sexy mother? Welcome back to When Foodie Calls. I'm Tim Chantarangsu. And I'm David Stroh. Wow. We over here at the Los Angeles Times Food Bowl. It's lit. If y'all remember, one of the first episodes of Sam Foods, we were at this event. It was a different name, but we got super turnt. We were super full. I just came. I got a little crazy, but I heard the food is popping. This is the brunch day, so it's all brunch food. And we have people that we're familiar with here. We had the Howlin' Rays homie come through. Everybody keeps trying to steal your guys' shit, and it's still not good enough. Hey, 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 there's so many mouths to feed in the world. You know I what I mean? I understand. There's so many mouths to feed. You're still the best. Brand, really good though. Howlin' Rays collab yeah, dropping November. I got too much ass. This is Hoochie Daddy. It's hottest shit in Los Angeles. We about to eat. We about to drink. This month right here, get this motherfucker right here. Get this lemon mother right here, yeah. dude. Two lemons right next to the ball. No, no, I and love then it. Zoom, zoom transition into his dick. Transition into his dick, go. Yes. Uh, this right here, brisket gyro with some type of remoulade. She said remoulade, but hey, it's okay. Hey. It's okay. She, it's she okay. don't know what she's serving up. <laughs> Bomb! That's good though. Fucking bomb! From a place called Dune at Atwater Village. You can mispronounce whatever the fuck that you want as long as you're trying. This is delicious. Oh my god. Wow. That meat, tender as hell. The sauce has like a horseradish kick to it. Oh! Wow. Everybody is on their A game. Oh my god. That is so good. Oh my god. What? Ah! Wow. Veal Chateaubriand. Veal is already tender as it is. The Chateaubriand is the fancy cut of the filet mignon. I'll tell you what, I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. That tamarind barbecue sauce is so fire. Sweet, tangy. You put that into, it's already like the elements of a great barbecue sauce. That's so fucking Yes, smart. the tangy tamarind with that yogurt, with that little, nice little sweet little yogurt, to set, that sweet sour yogurt to sweat it off. I mean, to set it off, sweat it off too. You know what people say about us? What? They know that when we really like food and when we don't like food. <laughs> this is an example of it. We're like Guy Fieri, dog. <laughs> I see what you did there. This is so good. If you ask me what to say about it, I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Thank you, bro. And what'd you give me? I'm a store taco in America, the number one pound for pound. Please put some lime on it for the acidity, the saltiness, and to bring it out. It's delicious. My guy said this is the best outpast store in Los Angeles. Is that what he said? He said America. America. Whoa, damn. Tacos 1986. You have seen this place all over LA. Fresh masa to make these corn tortillas. Fresh motherfucking tortillas. What the fuck? Yo, that fresh tortilla really makes the difference too. Those tortillas were incredible. Yeah, they make them in-house. It sets up the flavor for the whole dish. <sighs> wow. I mean, I don't know what else to say. The meat is tender as fuck. The fresh tortillas really make the difference. And, yo, best El Pastor I've ever had. Wow, dude. Not gonna lie. Wow. Andrew's right there, dude. No, and you had? My best too. My best too. Whoa, are you heard it from a real ass Mexican. Andrew, Mexican. Andrew said, fuck you, mom. Wow. wow. Popping. All right, so shout out to Stella Artois. They were actually the ones that like hooked us up with the VIP tickets today. That woman had no idea, but it's okay. Cheers. This is the only beer we're drinking all day because they hooked it us up. It doesn't matter. 
That is good. I want to just keep coming back here four more times so I have a collection because I need glasses at my house. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> wow, I tell ya. This motherfucker loses a little bit of weight and all of a sudden, pussy magnet. Wow. You know why? It's because I have an open chest today. This means I'm ready to party. Whoa. Wow, and you shaved for us too? I don't grow facial hair or body hair at all. I'm a mole rat. <laughs> Look at this nice, fresh piece of raw chicken right there. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a taco from Nick's on Beverly, one of me and Chief's favorite spots, because guess what? It's vegan, homie. I don't have anything against vegan food. I love vegan food. But sometimes when it comes to like these cuisines, I get a little sus. But you say it's good, so I know it's going to be fine. I honestly, look, when I feel like having like, like a deep dish kind of pizza or some lasagna, I go to Nick's on Beverly because, you know, I'm off cheese. You know, Italian people going to be mad that I do like having a lasagna. This one, hey, everybody's a vegan nowadays. They don't like it. <laughs> it's me, Mario. <laughs> hey, buongiorno. It's a, it's a delicious breakfast taco. It's fresh, that cilantro, that jalapeno, that egg go. This is good. Pickled onion, creamy avocado, delicious tortilla. Mm -hmm. Done. And guess what? The tortilla is vegan as well. Wow. Wow. How do you say wow in Thai? Wow in Thai is oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, a, oh my, wow. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, look at your oh, -hos. oh, how you say wow in Korean? Oh, 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 yeah, oh, 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 I order from this restaurant all the time. Today we have a little quail egg, which I love. Caviar, which I love. A little mucking fucking pancake, which I like. I actually fell in love with tea eggs when I went to Taiwan. You'll see them at their 7-Elevens. You can get them just about anywhere. Oh, so little fatty is Taiwanese food. That's why you have the quail egg done tea egg style. Bellini, creme fraiche with caviar always goes well together. A lot of people hype up caviar. I like it. I'm not like amazed about it, but it's very delicious. I'm a fan of caviar because I grew up eating very cheap caviar at a brunch of a phase with my parents, bang, bang. It's crazy how Asian that tastes. So tea eggs, what they'll do, they'll boil the quail egg or whatever egg, they crack the egg, the shell, and they dip it in a marinade of tea, soy sauce, and whatever herbs and spices that you have, and then you get the tea, and that's what creates that really dope design that you see on it. A little more moist. A little bit. Listen. Wow, you got a fresh fade, too? Oh, you know how I like. Wow. I'm trying to nab some men out here, dude. Yo, motherfucker lose a little weight, he's a whole new person. He put on a shirt with some buttons. Got a <laughs> I got a fresh made. His whole life is like changed up. I don't even know you. Oh no. Come on. Come on. All right, let's get it. Okay. Oh, wow. That's, that's so interesting. Wow. Okay. I, I like this, but it's weird. What does this taste like? It tastes like fresh green juice. It tastes like green juice, sorbet. With a little bit of whatever the fuck this Korean shit is. I like this. It's such a weird thing when people kind of create things that you never think will go well together. This is pretty fucking good. I really like this. It's so good. Really good. That's I might want another Refreshing. One. I don't know what else to say. I don't even have like a joke. It's like herbaceous, refreshing. Not what you expect at all. And a little bit of little, you know, alcohol in there to kind of lift it up. Oh. Wow. You're just, you're adorable. <laughs> Put a little glasses, no score. Thank you. Wow. Who doesn't fucking love adobo? We're talking about soy sauce, garlic, vinegar, uh, bay leaf. And who don't love cheeks? Nobody. This is some succulent, soft, BBW cheeks right here. And garlic fried rice. You know what's better than eating ass? Is eating ass with adobo sauce. A little sour. 
The great thing about adobo is we always talk about something really fatty or something acidic. And I love the taste, a hint of vinegar. This shit is so good. Pork cheek, fucking smart. I love pork cheek. It's actually like, you'd be surprised, it's kind of expensive. Did you get that leaf, a bite of that leaf? Bomb! The crispy shallot, they thought about texture. Sometimes with adobo, you don't have texture. You just have fall apart meat. And you know what, when you get pork adobo, it's typically done with pork belly. The pork cheek's a good move. Mmm! 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 Lunasia. When I had COVID, I ate Lunasia dim sum house every day, even if I couldn't taste. Because let me tell you something, a lot of people say that every dim sum place is the same. Lunasia's a little different. I feel like they put a little more attention and care into their stuff. Their jumbo shrimp hargal is fucking amazing. If you're trying to lose weight, great on macros. Dim sum doesn't feel right if I don't have an old Asian lady screaming at me. You want what? Hargal! You want what? You want this? You want this? Go die. Okay, now it feels right. Dumpling wrap, minced up shrimp, delicious. Hargao, barely thoroughly minced up pork and shrimp as well. Man, I need a little soy sauce and that mustard, man. Yeah, the mustard. And I got a Shaolin Valley soup dumpling. It's very hot. It's soup inside the motherfucker. So when you bite it, it explodes in your mouth. No pause. But I'm gonna just like let it pop off in my mouth. Press play all day. This ain't a video game. Mmm. Wow. That was great. Good night! Can I get a hand job? <laughs> we got some lamb sisik tacos. Dude, the Filipinos are Filipining today. In the best way. Um, and this man, as soon as he seen a couple of Asian people, he got right. He was like, let me throw all this extra funky shit on there for you. You guys want to make more spicy, spice? more Filipino? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. What are you doing? You're making more Filipino boys? Oh, oh yes. 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 This is just for the special. The yeah, special. dog. Speak that shit up. Ah. I love it. Ah. Can't forget about the chili. Oh, this is a Filipino style pickles. Traditionally, it's chopped chili, but we want to make it pop. So, enjoy. And these little fishies, what's that? They call it diles. Diles. Other than that, fried crispy Jeez. anchovies, baby. Love it. Cheers. Oh my god. Mmm. I'm trying to focus myself because I bit into my chili pepper. You took yours off. It's a motherfucking explosion of flavor, dog. Not on no cliche shit. It's some sweet, it's some spicy, it's some sour, it's some texture. It's everything that you want. It's bomb. It's so fucking good. Those little anchovies remind me of a Korean side dish that you'll see at Korean restaurants. It's called Yojibokum, which is just anchovies that are like sauteed. It's what? Yojibokum? I don't even know why he didn't just add it to the tacos in the first place. Mm. I think this wouldn't be as good as it is if it didn't have that stuff. You know, it's like when you ask it like this, you worry that all my ethnic flavor is going to be a little too much for the white tongues. Fuck them. If they don't appreciate this shit, they don't know fucking good food. Fuck them. We do not tone down our Asianness for nobody. I tell you what, those little crispy little anchovies on there, make this shit. It's kind of great. This is right now, so far in terms of spice of what I had, my favorite thing. Wow. Putangimo, putangimo. Putangina, wow. <laughs> From a spot called Bianca. It was a girl in high school named Bianca with a big old butt. I asked her to prom. And she I said, no, I'm going with Caesar. But after I won prom king, she said, I should have went with you, Tim. So what's up now, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm still cool with her. What's up, Bianca? You could have been married to the man who was on Wild and Now, season 20, <laughs> guest starring. <laughs> or an empanada, though? The empanada's beautiful. Soft where it needs to be soft and flaky where it needs to be soft. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying. It's corn. It's the most beautiful thing in the world. It's corn. I hope you really have a cone-tastic day. Mmm. Mmm. That's fucking good. <laughs> what the? My tooth. No. That hurts so bad. Someone's getting a little pink in the dick. Hope you know, I am Asian, you know this. My penis is purple. It's purple, yeah. <laughs> when I was in eighth grade, I showed my erect penis to a girl, and she said, it's purple! <laughs> <laughs> Why is it purple? And because we got that strong red blood. Ooh, let's sit there. Beans. Okay. We are gonna eat this uh, vegan Reuben, it's beetroot. So, I didn't know that this was a fake meat Reuben. I thought it was real meat. I will say this though, one of my favorite root vegetables is actually beets, golden beets. Talking about golden beets. Uh, what? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I lost weight. About 90 pounds. Uh. Korean boy from Sacktown. Hey. Hawaiian shirt. Titties all out. Uh -huh. All you bitches know what I'm about. Hey. I got a big dick. Yeah, and bitch, it's purple. Uh huh. Uh. And we know Steve Urkel. Oh, wow. This motherfucker lose a little bit of weight. <laughs> He is a brand new person! Whoa! He gave me a very easy beat. <laughs> it was slow enough where my brain could catch up. That's the best freestyle I've heard you do in the whole fucking life of knowing you, dog. Wow! I think it's because I'm a little crazy. Cheers! <laughs> Amazing! This is fantastic. And this, this coffee liqueur is great. This, uh, this restaurant is Jitlada. Aside, when Thai Smile retired, I didn't know where else to get fire Thai food except for Jitlada, bro. Hop in. Thank you. Ka, 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 ka. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I'm glad to see you. You're a baby. Oh. oh, I know. She's so I cute. Love her. <laughs> she followed you. She's a star. I know. Like you. Like you. <laughs> um, well, it doesn't matter what this tastes like because uh, I love that lady and her restaurant's delicious. Ah! <laughs> oh, a little spice, eh? <laughs> so this is a tamarind dip. <laughs> Somebody crap. <laughs> Should have avoided the, the red parts. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Wow. He's right. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna avoid the uh, the red part if I can. But <laughs> you need delicious Thai food. In LA, Jit Lada is legit Lada, my guy. And they are known for not. I'm Lady Boy! They're not known for that. This food is so spicy, it turned him into a Lady Boy. I'm Lady Boy. His dick said, no more. <laughs> They're known for like keeping the shit legit Thai spicy, you know what I'm saying? Not catering to the white spice. If it wasn't so spicy, I could put this on bread, toss it with noodles, eat it over rice. Uh -huh. Fuck, this is so good. I'm right. surprised she's serving this level of spice to these big boys. <laughs> Fuck the white people. <laughs> okay, so we're so full. Forgive if this isn't funny, we're just full. But I've been meaning to try this sushi place for a long time. It's called the Brothers Sushi. And ironically, it's Asian people back there. Ain't no brothers back there. <laughs> <laughs> we already have aged toro in here. If you know what toro is, it is the fatty belly part of the tuna. Tuna is very expensive. And this is the expensive expensive. And they aged it, yes. If you ikejime your fish, you dispatch it really well, you can age your fish and it's so delicious. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. I wish I would have had this earlier. So you could really enjoy it? The umane flavor. Hop in. That salty make it go. Look, when they say food smacks, this shit right here, bro. They was talking about this shit right here. Wow. That salty, sweet umame, man. Pop in. Japanese oh. people, man. Amazing. Beautiful. This is so sexy. It should be pixelated. On the level of some Japanese, coochie, pixelated porn. That's how delicious this shit is. Stop it! There should be tentacles coming out of this right now. <laughs> Bomb! Wow. I'm tapping out. Oi! Oi! Oh, I just farted. Good to go. We gotta do these Korean wings. Right. And then we're done. Today we are gonna have a Korean chicken wing. Korean chicken wing. We never ever know. Everybody think that they have a great Korean, a hot and spicy chicken or whatever, okay? Oh, no. <laughs> Korean number one. Thailand, oh, oh. the closest oh, number this two. is wow, open your mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they gave us some extra spicy sauce and said it was a 9 out of 10 spice. I'm so full, the last thing I want is spice hiccups. Because the other day, Veda had hiccups and she puked. Wow. And it was so sad. Oh, she's just going through it. It went out her nose and everything. Oh, she's such a slob. I know, I, I whipped her for that. <laughs> For getting, for getting puke on the car seats. <laughs> Korean fried yang yum chicken, right? Yang yang. Yeah. Thai mokke Mmm. That's fucking good. It's really good. It's not soggy. It's crispy. Even with that saucy sauce on there, it's not soggy. That's really good. Ah, uh, hot. Mm. They did a really good job. Mm-hmm. It's really good. <laughs> this is so good. 
it should be <laughs> David's Korean mom's vagina <laughs> pixelated. <laughs> I didn't say that when we had Jitlana about your mom's vagina. That's how good it is, dude. <laughs> Jitlana was so good. <laughs> it should be a picture <laughs> of Tim's mom naked next to her plant that got chopped. <laughs> Shipseki. Delicious. Oh, yeah. We are at 101 Cider House. We were yes. harassed by this lady right yes, here. Yes, she said, what the fuck are you doing, sitting around doing nothing, come drink this cider. She called me fat, and I was like, wow, <laughs> yes. how did you know what I want cider? Do, right? She said, hey, you little short piece of shit, <laughs> come over here. And I was like, what part of Australia are you from? She's like, uh, no. <laughs> and then he went, New Zealand. She's like, still no. <laughs> then he went, UK. She was like, still no. But the cider's delicious. I know. <laughs> And uh, lots of probiotics and uh, keto friendly and a bunch of healthy shit, she said. It, it's really healthy, she said. It's healthy alcohol. And it's free. And it's healthier than kombucha. Thank you so much. Wow. Oh. These are free drink tokens. We've wow. just opened a siesta club at our tap room. So come be drink with us. Uh. Wow. I'm about yeah, beta, beta number two. I just <laughs> you didn't give her a new name. <laughs> no, just Beta the second. <laughs> oh my god, what did you name her? Beta the second. Uh, I'm so full. Let me tell you something. If you guys ever wanted to go to any type of food event or festival, this would be the one. If you don't go to anything else this year for food, maybe next year when they do this, sign up to this. It is amazing. Every food that we've had, though we've had our favorites and the ones that we didn't like so much, it was still good. I think out of all the years of doing food shit, we ate the most at this first one that we went to and like, I might be like equally as full, dog. I'm so like, ugh. And if you guys have been here and you're like, oh, you didn't go to this place, there's like 60 vendors in there and everything is fire. It's impossible. Everything is bomb. LA got the best food in the game, homie. I don't care what you say. David, so what was your favorite thing you ate today? I think it was the seasick tacos, dude. Damn, with the little crispy anchovies on with top. With the crispy anchovies, the pickled vegetables, the lamb. It was very, very good. It was what I like to say is the epitome of how fusion food should be. And speaking of fusion, you know what? I think one of my favorite bites I might have had today, even even though it was my first bite and I was super hungry, might have been that little fucking gyro, brisket gyro with the sauce and the shit. It was so bomb. Oh, muy delicioso. Muy delicioso. Oh, my Dios mío. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo santificado sea tu nombre. Pinche chinos. Pinche chinos feos out here. And this motherfucker is not gordito anymore. He's his chino fucking um, flaco. Because look at him. Wow, his chichis are non-existent. Dude, my chichis are so much smaller. It's so weird. <laughs> Thank you for watching another episode of When Foodie Calls. I'm Tim Tantaransu. And I'm David Slow. Uh. I haven't eaten so much in my life. Uh. Let's get out of here.